right, we are at, uh, we're at Prescott High School in Prescott, Arizona, and I'm gonna give a speech at 7 p.m. tonight where we're gonna have a few other presentations, a video to be, to be shown about a young, young man who uh, survived his suicide attempt. And uh, I'm in a world of pain right now. I try not to show it on my face, but you're gonna see it a little bit today because it's, it's, it's bad. My skin is on fire on the outside. On the inside, mine's cold. So although I wanna wear this jacket, I hate it because it's hurting my skin. We are headed to Prescott, Arizona. Don't call it Prescott, that's not its name. We're going to Prescott, Arizona, and what are we going to do? We're going to have some fun. It's Kevin's first time in Prescott, Arizona, and we're really excited because he gets to be amongst friends, family, and, and one of the most beautiful communities in the United States. Prescott has so much soul and culture and has been through so much as a, as a town. I like to call it culture soul. It's got soul, culture soul. Or soul culture. Soul culture. And, and, and that's why we're so drawn to it. So we're very excited to have Kevin do what he does best, which is connect with people and tell his story and help others tell their stories. as excited as I am. He's excited. Are you as hungry as I am? What, what kind of restaurant is this? I've never been here before. Mediterranean. 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 Yes. One of my favorite kinds of foods. Have you seen this shirt I'm wearing? But do you know what it means? It means it's okay to talk. Let's roll. On February 28th, 1959, the United States Air Force Lockheld C-12 IG, Super Constellation en route from Litchfield Park, uh, Phoenix. Phoenix, crashed at the site during a training mission. The city of Prescott Constellation trails are dedicated to the memory of the U.S. Navy servicemen who lost their lives while serving our country. Commander Lucas Victor Dox, Lieutenant Theodore L. Rivenberg, Jr., Lieutenant Edward Francis Suiza, Flight Engineer Calvin Coolidge Kuhn, Engineer James Stephan Miller, Cody J. Walker, Troop 10, Eagle Project, summer 2011. And as you can see, they put all the pieces of the shaft they find from this plane currently and continuously right here as a memory for those lost servicemen who fought so hard for this country. Um, that hits me hard as you do a lot of work with the Air Force and I live by a motto, here I am, send me. And the motto comes from a coin, uh, a commander's excellence coin for the military, a civilian military excellence coin. Um, here I am, send me, because uh, Commander Nichols of the U.S. Uh, Air Force uh, B-2 bomber operation gave that to me, uh, not just a, as a gift, but as a thank you uh, for doing the work with suicide prevention in the military. Uh, so to our U.S. servicemen, women, and individuals all around the world, Thank you for what you do to keep us safe. Thank you for your sacrifice, it is immense. And I just hope we find a way to enhance your brain health so you guys stop dying by suicide. If nobody else says it today, you know we love you. It's beautiful, Guys, so this peaceful. is important to take in for sure. Yeah, I, th I, th this I think this beautiful. gives you a good feeling of Prescott, so I wanted you to see it. Yeah, thank you so much. Drew, it's hug time, buddy. Can you hold that? <laughs> hug train? It's hug time. Absolutely. I need, okay. I need a hug. We're in, bro. <laughs> 22 seconds? Yep. All right. All right, time us. One 1,000. Two 1,000. Three 1,000. Four 1,000. Five 1,000. 16. 17. 18. 19. 20. 21. 22. 23 second hugs, release oxytocin in the brain. That make you feel better. And I feel better already. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
enjoy some good, quiet times with the people I love. And, uh, and then we're going to be off uh, about 10 minutes prior to the gig to go to Ruth, not Ruth. Let's get Arizona. Don't call it anything different. Let's go. Licked my underarm. The size of that dog. He, his, his, his nose was the size of my forearm. Black Panther. Oh, that's the back. Black Panther. Another sick. That's sick, right? Yeah. The gentleman that does that in the movie, right before he gets eviscerated, Danny Sappy. I think it's Danny Sappy. Um, we're vlogging with him soon. Really cool dude. He was in the film Black Panther. He said yes to the vlog. We're gonna fly to London. Make it happen, let's go. Here we are, let's get inside. We got work to do. Over here, hello, hi there, how are you? Oh, I love this, the first in line, that, that you're ready to go. Good to see you, all right. All right, we are at... Uh... We're at Prescott High School in Prescott, Arizona, and I'm gonna give a speech at 7 p.m. tonight where we have a few other presentations, a video to be, to be shown about a young, young man who uh, survived a suicide attempt. And uh, I'm in a world of pain right now. I try not to show it on my face, but you're gonna see it a little bit today because it's, it's, it's bad. My skin is on fire on the outside. On the inside, my eyes cold. So although I want to wear this jacket, I hate it because it's hurting my skin. Um, let's take a walk. We're going to go walk up and go to a room where we can do some quiet time. And I'm going to do my breathing, my four, eight, inhale, four seconds, release eight, like pursed lips and a whistle, but no sound. We're going to do about 30 of those. Try to calm, uh, it's not going to stop the pain, uh, but what it is going to do is bring my mind to a calm so I can present in a really good way to do a really good job to the best of my ability here in Prescott at Prescott High School to deliver a message that really matters to family, kids, friends, loved ones, human beings in need who are in pain. Let's all survive that pain. I'm surviving it right now. Let's go. I'll tell you one of my favorite things about Kevin is that he's always he's always fighting some sort of pain, and that is no different from any human being. Yeah, right. Kevin has excruciating physical, mind, body, and sometimes even spiritual pain. Yeah. But he pulls through every single time, and when he gets on stage, you don't even know unless he tells you. And I'm gonna tell these folks if it gets too bad, because I'm gonna be crying. So. It's okay to talk. It's okay to talk. That's why I kept the shirt on. Why are you putting all this on right now? What's the feel? <sighs> because, like, this is the only, like, the pain comes from inside, right? The pain comes, it's like my bone is ice cold. But imagine that feeling across your entire body, all of your bones, fingers, toes, skull, ice cold. My skin is on fire. It feels like, it feels like, um, it feels like, forget, forget having a temperature that's like 102 degrees. Just imagine you feel like, like, like needles and knives are coming out of you, right? And so the cream is like, it's like a soothing experience, especially this, I got lucky enough that Drew had aloe vera cream, which is like some of the best for treating sunburns, but also this kind of feeling that I'm experiencing. It doesn't, it doesn't make the pain go away. It gives, me a, it gives me a soothing outer layer mm. that if I put on enough, I can tolerate it. You know so what, what is the pain scale? Where are you at right now? I'm at an 11 right now. And my, you... and my temperature is like, my temperature is like ridiculously unbalanced. One and thing, that's like every day. Kevin, can I share? Yes, sir. Just by telling the story of what he's doing, telling the story, I can see the shift in his, his focus. The power of storytelling is um, transformational. He's been in pain all day, but just by telling you what it's all about, I've seen his energy shift.
And that's exactly what happens when you go on stage every time. I know that I'm going to have bad days, and it's okay to have bad days. My name is Kevin Hines, and this is my story.